Hi, and welcome again to the second day of the virtual HPC workshop on containers for ISC 2020. This time, I'm going to be talking about the Open Container Initiative, the image spec format under the distribution segment of this workshop. So given that everyone is going to be talking about the tools that I'm going to be touching here, I'm going to give just a quick intro, like a brief introduction on what is the image spec format and how can we benefit from it. So understanding the specification, what is really the image specification? At a high level, the image manifest contains metadata about the contents and dependencies of the image, including the content addressable to identify one or more file system layers to change archives that will be unpacked to make the final runnable file system. The image configuration includes information such as application arguments, environments, etc. We are going to be looking at this in a moment. The image index is at a higher level a manifest which points to a list of manifest descriptors. Typically, these manifests may provide different implementations of the image. So I'm going to be showing what that is. Currently, the image spec is in its 1.0.1 version. You can get the full PDF uh, in this link. It's quite long, so it's watching it in 10 minutes is very hard. So I'm really just going to talk about the image spec while showing what the image spec is. So here we are going to see everything about why we use the OCI image spec for distributing images. So the first thing that we're going to check is we are going to see what can I get from all these image spec when I'm trying to pull an image. So for that, I'm going to be using a Scopio. I'm not going to talk about that because Valentin is going to be talking about this tool after this talk. So here, Scopio is telling me that in this repository, docker slash library for Fedora, I could be, a, I'm able to pull versions 20 to 30 right now and other names. And this is really information on how to pull that. But since I want the 30 tool, I can do this. So now Scopio is telling me that for the 32 version of the Fedora image, I am able to pull the architectural versions, AMD64, ARM, Power, and S390. So here I'm looking at the image manifest on the repository. So this is really telling me that in that repository, there is four kinds of Fedora images for these architectures. So now I'm going to show what uh, OCI image really is. So here I'm using a quick trick to get the root file system from that Fedora image into a basic folder. So here, what I'm looking at is that it is pulling the one single layer that compounds this image, the Fedora 32 image, and I'm putting all of that into this folder. So if I hit see here, I'm just looking at, at a regular file system that contains my Fedora 32. So 
to here, I'm looking at a Fedora 32 file system. Now, to complete the full OCI image spec bundle, I need my configuration file. And to do that, I can use CRUN spec. Now, we can see that we have a config.json file that it, it is really my OCI image spec. This JSON file tells us everything I need to know as a container runtime to play with this container. So it is telling me to interact with this JSON file with my API version 1.0.0. It is telling me that once I'm in that container, so it's telling the container engine that once this container is running, it should be run as the user zero in the group zero, and this can be modified even by the container engine, or I can just edit this file and tell this, I want this to be the user 1000 and the group 500. The arguments, this is telling the container runtime engine what to do when is running that container. So this is one of the most important aspects of the OCI image spec for the HPC community. Because here is where we can put what we want the container to do automatically when it is running. And this can also be seen in the singularity image format on what is going to be explained in the next talk. Here also we can see the environment. So this is again telling the container engine the environment to set up when it is running that container. So these are the only two environmental variables that are going to be seen inside the container. And from here, we're going to see the current working directory. So once I'm running that directory, the processes and the binaries being called are being called from this path. So I can modify this. And then he, this is telling the container engine the expected Linux kernel capabilities that the processes inside the running container are going to be able to see. So I can modify this to make my container more secure, less secure. I can add all kinds of capabilities here. I can remove these capabilities. So this is what the image spec really allows me is it, it is allowing me to tell the container runtime engine how to interact with the root file system that we just saw and how to run it and how I want to run it. Again, here we're seeing limits. We can also tell uh, C groups limits in this image spec. So I can tell the container engine, the C groups configuration that I'm expecting to be run here. Here I'm also telling the container runtime engine the mounts that I'm expecting to have in my container. So these are the default mounts that C run, run C is expecting in a container, but we, again, we can modify this. Something that I also want to show is how once we have this, I'm going to run the container with the most basic container runtime engine that we have, that is run C, or C run in this case. So here, as I told, it is running the process bash. So it is getting me into an interactive bash session because that was what I was told here in the argument. So if I modify this for a Python script, for my binary, for my expected application, it is going to run that. But since I didn't give it anything, it is just giving me an interactive bash session. 
So if I check again, I mean I run in Fedora 32 with the user zero in the group zero. So this is what gives me the power of interacting with my image and telling the container runtime engine what I'm expecting from my container when I'm calling it to run. So this is a very quick introduction into the OCI image spec. And if you want more information, you can go to the link shown in the slides and read the full PDF on how to configure this config.json file following the desired rules so the container engine is going to be able to play with it and not error. Thank you.